Hey, I'm Cody Galloway. Welcome to The Road Outdoors. This episode, we're going to beautiful center Alabama in Weiss Lake and fish with our staff pro, Lee Pitts. So stay tuned and we'll see what Lee has for us. You know, I get asked about The Road Outdoors. What is it? Who started it? And why do you do it? Well, the idea for The Road Outdoors TV show was born in Jacksonville, Alabama. Now, that's a small town roughly 60 miles east of Birmingham. In Jacksonville, things move a little slower than in other parts of the country, but that's why we're here. We love the feel of a cold football Friday night, being with family, hanging out with friends, and of course being in the woods and on the water. You see, outdoors people in Alabama are lucky. We have the best of all worlds when it comes to outdoor sports like hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, biking. Hey, we can do it all. We have the best fisheries anywhere with the Coosa River Lakes, Lake Gunnersville, which is the bass capital of the world. We have awesome state parks and great land management areas for hunting. You see, our good fortune made us realize that we had an awesome opportunity to showcase our state and to let others know about it too. So one day while we were fishing, we got the grand idea to begin filming an outdoor show about Alabama and more. Now sometimes we're invited to hunt or fish other states, but that only gives us an opportunity to promote our state all over the country. But I'm here to tell you, filming, hunting, and fishing is tough. You got weather problems, equipment issues, it's always something. But that didn't stop us from fighting through all that to bring this show to you. Now we are not professionals, and that will be pretty obvious. We're just a group of goodens that love the outdoors and our beautiful state. Now we will do our best to make this show better and better. So sit back and enjoy, and when the show is over, get up off that couch and go experience the Alabama outdoors for yourself. Hey guys, we're here on Weiss Lake today, going out of Little River Marina, and we've had a few storms come through this morning, so we got some cloud cover. We're going to get out and try to catch some of these bass on top water. So y'all hop in, let's go see if we can catch a few. Once again, we're here on Weiss Lake today and we've had some cloud cover this morning. So we're looking up on these sea walls right here. It's got a lot of chunk rock and a lot of scattered debris out in front of it. So we're gonna start out throwing these little pop bars. And what it does, that mimics the bait fish here. And also there's a lot of brim. We've had a mayfly hatch out around these old sea walls. A lot of bugs are in the water. The brim are up eating on these bugs. And what that does, that brings the bass into them. So we're gonna see if we can get one to come up on this pop bar this morning. I don't work this bait all the way back to the boat. Um, the, the strike zone is really about five to 10 yards just right there off of these rocks. Once you get about halfway back to the boat, you can bring it on back in and just concentrate on making more casts right up in that strike zone.
need that sun to pop out on those deeper fish. Those fish love those little corners like that right there where that boat ramp comes in. You can see where they poured that. It just gives them a, a little ambush point. They can back up in that little crease right there in that pocket and just wait for bait to float by. Okay. <laughs> I sat here in this rough water and threw right on that limb right there and got hung up. You know, a lot of times if you just kind of take your time and put a little pressure on that, I'm putting a bow in that rod right there and popping it like a bow and arrow. A lot of times it'll jump off there. You can kind of pop it and you don't have to go in there and mess your fishing up. Or just run right down to it and pop it off there. There we go. There we go. Nice little fish to start the morning out with. That fish, when I threw in there, right up against that grass, I saw that fish move on that bait when I threw in. And he just had to decide if he wanted to eat it or not. So, nice little coosa bass. He ate it good too. Couldn't stand those rattles. I don't know about y'all, but I need a break. We'll be right back. A lot of this is for crappie fishing, but the bass relate to it good too. Right off these sea walls, you can see a couple of brush piles right here. That's that's a good place they can lay up man bush bait. You know, even in the heat of the summer here on the Coosa uh, waters, these fish don't leave a lot of this wood cover on these shallow docks. Um, July and August, you can still catch fish in three to four feet of water on these docks. There's something about with the shade and the oxygen content, with all the boat traffic, you know, it keeps enough, enough, uh, enough shade off these old docks that the fish can stay in here and you still got plenty of bait around it. So don't overlook the shallow docks, even in the heat of summer. They'll get in that shallow water. 
One of the things that's helped me and some things I see a lot of anglers doing is with your trolling motor. You know, I've got this Minn Kota trolling motor here, which is a, a, a real strong trolling motor, and it's, it's great for getting around these docks. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of noise, and that's what you try to do. You know, you're up real close, and you're making a tight presentation. I cut that trolling motor down a little bit. I'm running about 20% here. We're, we're not in a lot of wind, so it allows me to cut it down. But what I want to do is I can watch that. I don't want to turn it around where I'm blowing water up on that pole I'm trying to flip. You know, that bass is laying right there, and he knows when he gets a big bust of water coming in his face, something's not right, and that may be the difference in you getting bit or not. So turn that trolling motor down, cut it down some, just take your time, set your boat up, and use a good presentation. It'll help you increase your strikes. What we've done this morning, we've had a little storm come through, and I don't know if it was the lightning or some of the wind, but uh, we're gonna have to swap over. Our top water bite just didn't produce anything for us. So what we're gonna do is back out on some of these ledges and get to some of these deeper fish and see if they hadn't been affected as much by that front that's came through. So we're fixing to go out here in this open water and hit some of these humps, uh, do a little cranking, do a little dragging with some of the, uh, the biffle bugs out there and see if we can't get a big largemouth. Now that the sun's got up a little bit, we're gonna come out here on some of these deeper drops. And what we're doing, I'm throwing 12 pound monofilament on this right here with this uh, DD-22. It's a deep diving crankbait that gets down there anywhere from 10, 12 to 14 feet. I'm throwing it on the new Luz David Fritz cranking rod. It's a seven foot medium heavy. And what that does, the softer tip allows that fish to really get a hold of it. And I won't pull it away from him as quick. It lets him eat it whenever I, I got bad nerves I like to jerk pretty strong so it lets him go ahead and get a good bite on it and get a hold of it before I try to take it from him. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to take this bait and all through this ledge here, there's scattered stumps on it. What I'm trying to do is just, just reel this down there so I can keep good contact with that bottom. And every time I hit a stump, I'm trying to make it look like a bait fish bouncing around those uh, stump and some of the, the, uh, the roots that come off of that. And these fish, just like in shallow water, they'll relate to these deeper stumps just like they will a stump up on the bank. Look at there. He didn't want it real good, it just fell out. Another good fish. They just not wanted that crankbait good today, but hey, as long as you can get them in a the boat, that's all that counts. Another nice Weiss Lake bass. Come on down if you wanna throw some deep crankbaits on the Coosa and catch some of these big heads. Nice fish. Let's get a no. There he 
There he is. Like pretty good fish. Come on, baby. You can tell he really didn't want it. Hold still, hold still, hold still. He just missed it. He really didn't want it. But he thought hard enough about it. Get off of there, baby. Now, if that would have been in a tournament, he'd have jumped off three times. Not a good large mouth. How about that? <laughs> that wasn't no good. A lot of times on these ledges, I'll fish them up one side and back down the other, just because you know you may if 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 you don't hit the right angle that they're set up on. Let's say you got some wind coming in or or the currents coming, they may be set up facing the other way. So if I'm just coming at them from the right to left, I may be throwing behind them and dragging it by them. They not see it. Turn around the other angle and get different cuts on them. And a lot of times you'll have to hit the right angle that they're sitting on and it'll draw strike. There he is. That's a good one. Big one. A toad. Look at here. Big one. He slapped it once and then come back on it. Nice fish. There we go. All right. They're not choking it, but they're hitting it good enough. Come off of there, baby. There we go. Another good Weiss Lake bass. Nice fish. Got him on the old deep diving cranker. There we go. Jump. Oh. Hey guys, y'all stay with us. We're going to change locations and we'll be right back. What we've done now, we've had to swap gears again. You know, it's your typical summertime pattern. We've had a few fronts coming through. So, uh, the sun popped out. We went to some of the deeper stuff, and as soon as we did, another storm came through. So now we're doing what a lot of you tournament fishermen uh, know when you have to go to just junk fishing. So we're gonna hit some of this wood cover on some of these banks and just try to wait and see what this weather's gonna do and just swap around. We're going back with the black and blue talon with the Gina Root Biffle Bug on the back of it. And we're gonna cut up some of this shallow wood and just try to draw a strike. You know, once again, even with it's summertime, and this is shallow water, this is two to three feet of water, these fish with that wind pushing some of this current around through here, they'll still lay up on this wood cover. big spot. <laughs> now you tell me you can't catch them shallow in the summertime. He 
couldn't stand that little biffle bug right there. Look at that big spot. We're sitting here in 1.6 foot of water. Water temperature is 83 degrees. And that big old fat spot's laying up in, a, in nothing. It's a nice coastal spot right there. We're gonna put him back, let him go back and wait on another one. like that spot right there when he hit that little biffle bug he wrapped me around two or three things before he came out always check your line make sure there's no abrasions on that like I said when they hit it in there tight you got your hands full so make sure everything's in your favor when he gets a hold of it A lot of this wood, like those stumps back in there, yeah, it looks good, but if you watch your graph right here, I'm in two and three feet of water. That The, the three to five foot, two and a half to, to five foot is what I try to key on. Um, a lot of that back in there, once the sun gets high, those fish will pull back out a little bit more. So this is the kind of stuff that I really look for. That, you know, knee deep, four foot, seems to hold a better fish. And once again, that when that current kicks on, it, it's a whole different world out here on this stuff. Well, hey folks that's going to wind up our day here on weiss lake i hope you've enjoyed it you know we've uh had some different things we've had to kind of battle with today had a few storms come through a little bit of weather change but overall we've had a great day here on weiss we've lost a few fish uh that would have really really made it a good day but overall we caught a lot of fish did some different things caught some fish on top water caught some fish on uh, some deep structure and of course always on the old standby gene roo biffle bug with a jig hard to beat if you want to come to weiss lake and catch some of these fish give me a call it's lee pitts with pitts outdoors 256-390-4145 see you next time on road outdoors the road outdoors is brought to you by shotgun sports supply roma's pizza in jacksonville calhoun county insurance huddle house of jacksonville crow drugs of jacksonville Coosa Industrial Supply of Gaston. Union Foundry of Aniston. Observer Office Supply of Gaston. Monk Boots. Davis Bates of Sylacauga. Thank you for joining us today. I learned a lot from Lee, I hope you did too. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and check out our website, theroadoutdoors.com. Remember, enjoy the outdoors and be safe.